So, so welcome back, guys, and we're doing a video that I actually planned at the end of, um, like, I don't know, like, an hour and, like, 20 minutes ago, while I was coming with ideas for more videos, and we're gonna do one of them that, um, is gonna be sort of interesting to do, partly because I'm not gonna use the map editor to take out the bumps in between, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what we're doing, and um, we'll just start it off from there. So, we'll take the parking brake off. So, both this vehicle and the second vehicle that we're going to be using, um, this one's going to be changed quite a bit, but the other one is going to be stationary and not changed the entire time. It's going to need to be reset to keep its position. But they're both um, reset, so um, they'll always end up at the back wall here and where the other vehicle is, it'll always be staying there. And um, I know this is gonna work, so let's just get right into it. Just hoping it winds up with the truck still because I accidentally forgot there were bumps here and I was trying to follow the line, but I might be off by one. The whole point of this is to have a decent speed because it does get flat, it's not all about the weapons, which is the bigger part. Like the, it stays flat now. Um, we're basically going to be taking different vehicles and crashing them into the um, T series. Um, so. Okay, now it's on fire because I pushed it. So, ignoring the fire because the entire car has been engulfed. It was a pretty square hit on the crash. Both sides are basically both of the exact same. One's a little bit more than the other, but that's obviously just because it's probably well, guess I'm guessing it's an off angle, so that's why, but Another hand for this vehicle, this is why I wanted to do this, because the only thing that's really out of place at all is the bumper and a small dent in the radiator right here. And I guess the license, a lot of license plates came on. But there's no, or was that, I don't know what that was, but there's nothing actually wrong with the truck technically. Or isn't this car's undrivable. So, wrong button. Right back to the next vehicle. So guys, I was going to do Dinka Blista um, from GTA 4, but that mod is like broken. Like it's one frame a second. Um, end of conversation. So I just switched out vehicles quickly.
did you see that? The roof just had shockwaves go through it. Holy crap, that was cool. The entire roof just went shockwaves. Before this breaks, I'm gonna try and split it apart. Give up. I'm not gonna go into detail on that one. Car is almost destroyed, so I'm just gonna leave it there because you can't really see anything else because it won't let us. So, and all of these crashes are done. I just realized with the I but that bad I accidentally hit the power button on my computer and it went to sleep. Complete fail. So um, as I was saying, all them all these are done. I have to keep my left hand away from the keyboard. All these crashes are done with the parking brake on the T series off. So obviously you guys can tell that the truck's moving back a lot. That's just why is because the full impact force of the car is hitting the truck. There's no resistance except for the weight of the trucks. Oh, I'm slowing it down. So let's get a new car. So guys, I know that the walls in the way of the car, but um, there's so far two mod modded vehicles that no longer work because they all go down one frame a second and stay there. So we had to get another vehicle again. Luckily, it doesn't like the game itself. It just likes the car. Um, so, getting a new vehicle is really easy. So, let's do this. wonder what happened there because the car just sort of had that impact and then the truck kept going. Really love to know why. Actually, the car was on this vehicle really worked because the only, I mean, wait, what parts worked other than the roof? The doors. Wait, are the doors fine? The driver's door is bent a little bit, but I think the back doors are just from the roof. I can't tell if the frame's bent or not. See, it's another vehicle. Well, guys, we couldn't. Do, we may not have been able to do the Honda um, vehicle because, as I said, it glitched um with the update and everything so i pulled out something just as similar 
just a slightly different vehicle, make, model, age, um, size, you know, everything. Welcome to the Bishu Pessima. Now, someone tell me how it makes sense. Does this car look like a 2014 vehicle? Does the other Bishu Pessima, blue one, that sort of looks like an old 2014 um, Corolla, look anything like any 1989-91 um, car? No, they don't. I don't understand why the gears are different, because this one is really obviously older than under Pessima, but they both are like hot, but this one is a bit more. Which I don't understand at all. Crap. Oh, I mean, you can see what happened here. Great, the engine got caught. Great. Well, that worked. Not taking the parking brake and then smashing it works. Engine's gone, I was trying to... Actually, you know what? Because that fell off... I broke the hubs for the, for the rear wheel. Not glitch anymore. Getting this out. Um. Roof lifted up a lot. Gosh. I guess because it's lower, the bumper for the truck pushed up on the vehicle on the bottom because the front of the Pesma sticks out a bit. So it probably had the uplift for the roof to come up and. People for geeks know exactly what I'm talking about. The people that aren't good job because uh, your whole life is dedicated by information. Um, yeah, and then you just have the crumbles on it. It completely destroys the engine. New vehicle in two, one, two hundred BX. Not the normal version. Because anyone that has this game would know exactly what I'm doing. This is the turbo version, and which is really obvious because this car doesn't actually go as fast. But I figured we're going over bumps and we want a high speed crash every once in a while, so let's get the disaster. Why do I always do it late? The drive shaft is on, you can have brakes and all that, are you serious? Okay, where's the where's the string? Oh my god! And then we get the vehicles that glitch out, which is now it happened twice. So, oh my gosh, it actually completely crumpled the crumples. On. Looks like a bloody butterfly. Upside down butterfly, but it looks like a butterfly. Nice vehicles. So I figured we needed an old car, and um, well, I think I found the perfect Chicago PD one. Thought it had no transmission for a second because it was like barely. This one is off the F3 car, so I'm guessing it goes faster. I didn't want to choose a Drake car because I didn't want it to be too fast. I wanted it to be realistic, but...
this, it's probably gonna break apart easily anyway, so. There goes the axle, holy crap. Oh, that's broken. Waited one of them. Waited one of them. So here's the other. Gosh, it never looks that bad. Complete A-frame hood. Did you stop moving? The wheel glitched out. I can deal with that. So that was identical. Seriously? The middle actually had a warp in it. No way. See, like, the door, it's like a, it's like, sort of like a really thin snake. It, it, there's a backwards S in there. Yeah, it's a backwards S. Because it actually warped, I'm surprised. I mean, it's a convertible, so I was sort of half expecting it to do that, but it's really cool to actually see. And it did the exact same thing, only the opposite way, obviously, on this side, because it's the other side of the car. So guys, this is also one of the special vehicles in the game because it would never work on my laptop computer thing until now, why did I just say laptop? I'm half asleep, that's why I said Computer laptops like the computer, so... Portable, whatever it's called. Anyway... So... This is considered a special vehicle because it would never run before because the uh, axle would be broken and I never figured out how to fix it. So, here goes.
sort of see the Corvette from this angle. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the best I can do. So guys, this is unexpected, but, um, the game does not support the GL83, so, um, I'm just gonna end off with this, and, um, yeah, I'm actually sort of upset about it, but, you know what, it happens, so, um, we're gonna do something similar like this tomorrow, actually, but it's gonna be even better, it might be a lot like like year, but it's, um, It'll be better, so subscribe for that. Peace out, bros.